Right, what's going on folks? It is Spade. Cam. Two Brothers Auto back with a brand new video for you guys. We've had the camera rolling literally all day. All this day. is the hardest I've ever worked outside of work. Yo, alright, what's going on folks? Got Cam here. Uh, we're rolling in Mamba on the way to the Lake Mary Cars and Coffee. This event in the past has had a pretty good turnout. Uh, we really prefer the events that has a wide variety of cars, so we are hoping, expecting this event right here to show a little bit of everything. The idea here today is just to get a lot of content for you guys. And the good thing is, it's actually two shows today. So it's one in Lake Mary. We're on the way to that one now. Uh, then we are going to rally over to a cancer awareness event in downtown Orlando. Uh, we're taking the cameras there. So it's just a full day of taping, man. At the end of each one of these car shows, we're going to give you guys our pick of the show. It's not necessarily saying it was the best car there or the most expensive bill, just the car that spoke the most to me. And Cam will give you his opinion of what spoke the most to him. My hand's shaking. It ain't me, y'all. It ain't me. This man. Pray for me. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all at the show. Outside of work, uh, yeah, and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but you know, we do it. I ain't even gonna lie, I did like it. I had a really good time. So we recorded a ton of footage. We took a lot of photos, and we got our first ever interview. So um, the purpose of this video is just for us to set up a few things. I'm gonna be completely honest. At this point, I have no idea how we're gonna use this footage. Uh, but I know one thing we are supposed to do is give our picks of the car show. We attended two car events, car shows, whatever you want to call them today. We'll start off with Lake Mary Cars and Coffee. What was your pick of the show? My pick of the show there was the the Merc, the AMG, with the uh, had the red trim wheels with the black barrel. Okay. That was probably my pick of the show. It's well, I'm tired. I'm conflicted. It's two Mercs. It was the AMG and the SL600. The old one? Yeah. Pick the show? Yeah, pick of the show. That those are the ones that spoke to me. I thought you know, I, I've been looking at I've been looking at them. You have. I've been yeah. looking at them and, and one and one revealed itself to me in person. So those are my two picks of the show. Yeah. I really thought you was gonna go with the Beamer. I thought you was gonna go with the old the E30? Yeah. Nah. I mean the E30 was nice. It was, it was third. But the SL since I've been looking at the SL 600 like Okay. So okay, that's fair. Uh, you know me. My pick is the Hemi Cuda. That Cuda was nice. It was nice, like for that car to be as old as it was. They had a lot of documentation. They had paperwork. It was clean. It was pristine. Clean. The interior was clean. They, what do you put? What, the, what was the engine in that? I can't remember. Big four forty. Yeah. Four Big boy had his, had the stickers on there. Had his kids. Them that had like three or four kids. Shout out to him. Shout out uh, to him. Because boy, it's, it, it can't be easy. To, you out there, it's hot. There's people, you know, there's people everywhere trying to do that and yeah. manage. Look, I think when, he you was, when you was talking to him, one of the kids was like, I'm ready to go home. He said, like, <laughs> I'm ready to leave now, Dad. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'll shut up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no hit with me. But no, that's definitely my pick. I want to give honorable mention. I'm going to go somewhere completely different. I, I love the Cars and Coffee events. The only thing that I, I don't like, and I understand it, so I, I don't want it to sound like I'm hating on people who got deep pockets, but these events often crowd around the most expensive cars that you see there. Don't get me wrong. If you can afford a GT3 RS, you deserve the praise because that's a that's a very beautiful car. But at the same time, it's like, you can just show up in a GT3 RS and shut it down. It's like, that's cool, but it's some folks out here that just got stories behind their cars and I really appreciate that. So my honorable mention, and this is gonna take you by storm, 
But he pulled in at the end with one of the most insane raps I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's it way too bold for me. I would never do that, but it definitely caught my attention. It caught the attention of a lot of people there at the event. And, and I, I think just for how bold that car was, it gets yeah. me Yeah, no, that, that's fair. It was definitely, like, I would never do a rap like that, but one, I know he spent a lot of money nice. on that rap because that material is, is crazy expensive. But it was, it was an eye catcher, like, you, it wasn't no not sin. Nah. Like when he pulled in, you saw it. You saw it. But yeah. I think I think those are fair. Those are fair picks of the show. Um, we're not gonna do worst of the show. Cause somebody wanted to do worst of the show. I don't wanna do worst of the show. Because you it don't you know what I'm saying? You bought the car that it's you yours. love, yeah. you working on it, and you might not be to your point yet, because I'm gonna be honest, now nah, some neither one of my cars. No, they still working, yeah, bro. No. They still working, bro. I also want to take a moment to say I went Muhammad Ali shirt, Muhammad Ali hat, and I had the best shirt hat combo of the show. Who that? Bing, bro. Beans? Bing. Do you know who Muhammad Ali is? Do you know who Kobe Dean Brown is? I had the GOAT. He got arguably the third best basketball player ever. I got ever. the GOAT. I got the GOAT. I got the GOAT box on my shirt. Doubled up with the hat. Uh, Some people gonna say that ain't Floyd. Some people need to relax. <laughs> Some people better cool it. That's all I know. <laughs>